I can't tell. Is that starter deck one? Is it even the Gallant one? It looks like the Ragnar Lordmon one. What, the Mem Gauge? Yeah, it looks kind of like the Ragnar one. Because like it half red, like, half black. It might be like Dorenda and Gallant. I don't know. Fun combination for sure. All right. People, my, uh, my memory gauge nerds, uh, who, uh, do, what, what are we looking at here? Zoom and enhance, I would love to, but like, you tell me, what, what are we looking at here for the mem gauge? Give him the chair, <laughs> just walk away with it. I went to Karula and all I got with this chair. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be some kind of yellow deck, maybe. I can see that. I think they're on four eggs. But Biazman has been eating insanely good. We're getting the cuts done, so I think this is going to be our first actual... I think it's actually going to be our first draws for the timer. See, we weren't sure if it was the Gallant Starter Gauge, or... Because, like, I don't remember the Gallant Starter Gauge being half black. Okay, looking at the hands here. It's possible that one of them is the Gallant Starter Gauge and the other one is something else. Mulligan on Marcus' side. And Quang. Ooh. Every time. Every time. Okay, well, we say every time, but, you know, according to the... Congrats to Marcus on his, uh, round <laughs> on his, uh, game, game one, one win. Yeah, game one win for Mark. Like, you know, the the simulation goes as following: Quang keeps the opening hand, and he'll lose game one, and then he comes back two and three. All right, Shout that's how it's usually been. Shout out to However, you coming through with the uh, <laughs> the mat adjustment, so we can get the clean look at it. Per every time, it looks perfect, and we we have the security set out. So I think, yep, that's round oh. one underway. Yellow hybrid. Oh, or is it, Marcus. Is it Marcus hybrid? No, it's it has to be yellow hybrid. It's the only deck that plays TK and the Agumon base. Ooh. Looking at security. Yep, Kazemon, yep. yellow hybrid. Oh. I told you. I told y'all, yellow hybrid. That's a that's like a German ass deck. That's <laughs> a deck that you see like do always well in Germany. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Trident guy in security. This is gonna be a a game for sure. Yeah, both of them might just die to sec bombs. But Bielsamon can always burn uh, yellow hybrid security. Yellow hybrid has to chip if they want to get a win. Yeah, that is true. Uh, I believe Zephyr is six KDP. So if Quang wants to go for a ruin mode line to stop, you know, the yellow hybrid. Uh, Revolver from, you know, coming out and just like, evil for two swing, evil for two swing, evil for two swing. He's going to need to find that, um... And he's gonna have to find it relatively quick. Mm -hmm. For what's worth, this matchup, Quang is a, a lot less under pressure because he's not constantly getting chipped by, like, Numemon boards and, like, Leviamon for three, you know, two to three checks. Yeah. Alright. Masaru. I guess also if you get cleared by the Marcus, you're not too bothered about it because at the end of the day, like you're still probably getting your mills off if it's uh <laughs> if it's the right imp mon. And that imp X, he's been using it. We were kind of talking about it earlier. He's basically been using it as another rivals barrage. And this is such an early double iron Marco, so. Real chance to get some Val U. Bills and Ball. Kneeling the Balmon. One out of three. One out of four, rather. But he <laughs> does have the other one. As a reminder, he did keep his opening hand. So he was very happy with whatever he had. There's one to an, the top. I believe that's a Wizardmon, which will let him keep turn here. Okay, so we're going to go for both. And, and I a Death Slinger. Slinger. Yeah, middle. Oh, I Look at that. Val you. But it Gotta was it. it was a double set, so he didn't hit that like off the heezy. We are gonna swing and this should guarantee enough mills. 
Yeah. Uh, you know what? Worth... I, I spoke too soon. My fault. My fault, chat. <laughs> For what's worth, having a Beelzemon early in the trash means that even if the Balmon dies to a security bomb, it does get to float immediately. And another Marcus. However, the yellow hybrid hand is very reactive. We see uh, Revolver, we see Trident Gaia. Mill three, no more Meme Inherits. So he only really gains the one here. Still though, there's gonna be a lot of chase. We talked about the Trident Gaia, so. Trident Gaia will not burn the Beelzemon because Trident Gaia only burns if you're 13 curry or more DP. Uh. So if he chooses to shoot it now, you know, it's not like Quang is taking a damage. For no reason. Masser comes forward. Oh, Bills has a 2k buff because of the Balmon, so it's like back yeah, in range. He, yeah, if he checks during his turn, yeah, the during the, the turn. So Mark is going to get a memory here and shoot the Impmon. One check. Ooh, training. training. I don't know where you go from here. Like, the hybrids are such an interesting one because you've got hybrid, like, you've got tamers that are swinging and you don't need the hybrid. I'm assuming, unless you are just going over the TK over and over again, you, like, unless you're just, like, evolve, swing, TK for a new one, you just don't get as much. There goes our other wizard ones. Here. 28 cards in trash. Yeah, it does look like a 28. He needs to find an answer for the Beelzemon here, but there's nothing that will, you know, cleanly answer this without passing turn unless he goes for... Well, even if he blows it up, the problem is um, it's by deletion. Like, even if he goes for the... Wait, can this even go sideways? There's no uh, Greymon on field. Uh, no, it goes... It only goes... It only gains the memory if there's a Greymon. It can always go sideways on play. And do the minus three? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Buster would have been uh, 3k instance uh, per, per tamer. tamer, which was 3... Oh, wait, I think... Wait, are we just getting a rule clarification from a judge? Yeah, we got the yellow red source. There were three tamers at the time of resolution, which would be minus 9, and the 3k shrinks it off. Yeah, so 3, 6, 9, and then Marcus for another 3... Put ADP minus thing by 12, so math checks out. And they get to turn back into Tamers to become uninteractable, so the Beelzemon can't just kill them on the crackback, which is something that uh, Kwame Min was doing really, really well in his games, was fighting for board. But when the board just it's immediately tamers. just runs, yeah, it's really difficult. Right now... So he needs to ruin mode at some point. That's the only way he doesn't just get clapped back by... Oh, that is true. Yeah, that's his main form of interaction in the matchup is by going into Ruin Mode. Ruin Mode and then rivals it back and then Ruin Mode and then rivals it back. I guess if you're just Something going like from- that. If you're like, we're at the point now where he can go Impmon Blast- uh, Impmon Beelzemon, Impmon Beelzemon, like, over and over again if he just cycles them. And if he's getting security burn, then I guess you're also burning Tamers out of security if you get the chance to do so. Oh, this does not look like it's going to be going to time. This one looks like it should be a pretty all-out just feast for both of them. There it is. That's the ruin. Because this will stop the Marcuses from being turned into Digimon, either through the Agumon or something else. Because the Agumon's a Kaz main, right? Yes, it's a main effect. It means that Kazumon can't be evoed because it's 5k DP. Zephyr is... Um, Zephyr is fair game. Do you go Beelzemon? Whoa, uh, there yeah, goes yeah. Trident Gaia. So, gets to play through the minus 10. Burns And up. burns the Z one, but... Wisdom training, not bad. So now, you know, he has Impmon plus Double Iron Mako. So it doesn't really matter for him. And we've seen one... The problem is no rivals barrage is kind of icky. But then again, this is a guy that always 
He evolves up the stack, but I guess he's not going to do it yet. Finds a Beelzemon. I'm not sure what he was looking for, but I'm going to go memory, second hand. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. Unless we're just going to go Imp, Imp X. Because the problem is, like, you still need to find a Rivals Barrage or something that actually sets up. So we're going to draw for Digivolve, use one Iron Marco to stack the top gain one. And then are we going to just do guaranteed set mill? Uh, yeah, I don't think like milling is particularly bad. He's really probably just looking to get some more uh, cards for himself. It's also keeping sure that... cards, like cards in deck, because you're not digging as deep. Guaranteed. Oh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Double it up. Double it up. It didn't call Rivals Barrage for no reason. Yeah. That, 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 is, the, that is the squad pulling up for the drive-by. Beelstar is always there in spirit. I like to so, think the second Rivals Barrage is chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all of them. Now the question is, how does Yellow Hybrid play out of this? Because they know it's in security. We, we didn't get a good peek at it, but they don't have a rookie. They have TK to potentially get a piece. They also have a hybrid. So they need to climb into something of value. Or they're just going to go for uh, Shining Blast, which d applies uh, minus two to three things per Tamer on board, and it always plays a Marcus as well. So that will essentially do uh, four ticks of minus two to three things, and you get to choose however you want. Clearing both, which is pretty good. Now, both Beals X's are in trash alongside the blast mode, so Quang could go for game shot here, assuming that his Impmon lives, or rather his Beelzemon lives the first couple of checks. Because from then onwards, all you have to do is, you know, um, burn two swing for game. I feel like it's a big assumption. Like, he's had it like that so many times, but sometimes it feels like whenever he has the obvious one, he just gets caught by it. I also really like the... I was going to say I really like that the TK gives exactly three memory. Same with all the markers, so that way you could just play an Agumon, but it seems like we're pretty dry on rookies right now. Yeah, no rookies, no, doesn't really want to commit the hybrids. So, he's thinking about his barrages here. Yeah, I'm going to go swing. Use the effect. He probably wants the mem gain one, so he's counting cards in deck. Looks like it's do or die for this turn. It'd and always be like yellow that. Hybrid. Yeah, yellow hybrid sometimes doesn't really have to fight you. A, a, a deck like Piazmon, it can, it can just play late game and just kind of chill, not commit too much. All right, we're gonna be seeing that ST seventeen Piazmon, which we or which we kind of expected. 17, 14, and start a deck. Mitigating as much of the cost as possible. Ringing the mails, cluster slinger, will gain two memory. And get plus, the second hand. Plus the Beelzebub memory, so he should gain two to three. But we also got a, uh, what's it called? We got a seventh out of that. We'll take Oh, that goes wide, actually. So that's actually yeah. fine. It's three Digimon. Uh, it's three. Di okay, the, the game's over. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, it's he's currently minus. I want to say it was eight. Minus. It's two per tamer. Yeah, but so you can't stack. You can't eight. stack them. Uh. So it's. I don't a, think you can. I don't think you it's can. Three Digimon. Yeah, it's three, it's three Digimon. Digimon. But then you repeat the effect per tamer. No, I don't think it's worded like that. I'll bring it up. Um... Yeah. Beelzemon, and then going to blast mode, and that is game. Yeah, pretty pretty comfy. He he quite literally always has it. Yeah. Then for each red or yellow tamer you have in play, three of your opponents, Digimon, get minus 2,000 DP for the turn. Oh, okay. That card's not as bad as I thought it was. No, the card is very, very good, considering that like we're in a... Go wide format. Go wide format. Yeah, you get to you can choose like three different Digimon and three different ones, then go back to the regular ones. You know, you can do like 
it, it, the card is like really really efficient considering that it also plays a marcus for free yeah i i kind of i was kind of down on that card in the vid essay but like it's not terrible yeah the yeah, but... ruin mode was like a big tempo turn mm -hmm. it did but... a lot also just not having rookies was kind of like awkward like you had three three marcuses that weren't giving you memory or anything they were just kind of sitting there typically the rookies that they run are like ukomons and the agumons those are like the main rookies that the marcus hybrid deck runs i guess it is the problem with like the first match after a deck check is so fraudulent you say that but the Bielzaman player won game one, which, you know, maybe which, Quang which is... Which is what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Quang is rewriting history right here. Not only did he manage to win on game one, which we've seen him lose game one three times in a row. He did it comfortably as well. Why is Very comfortably. championship 2022 Leomon going for £42 on card market? What are we doing here? Which Leomon? The BT1 on deletion gain 2. The one that doesn't have blocker. What oh, are we doing? Something. <laughs> That's okay. some coat. Target Agu followed by Marcus for 5. That's a lot of memory to pass to Beelzebub. He could get so punished here through trainings and just regular Evo. Yeah, like he's not going to die into the sun because at the very least, like this deck isn't on Ukomon. You're not going to get blown up like that, but still not, not ideal. That's the issue with the yellow hybrid deck as well, is that it tends to have relatively low, uh, so doesn't have a ton of efficient plays for turn one. So often you're passing four to five memory, which is great for things like Uko because you want them to hit your security. Um, it, it, it's not necessarily a security control deck, but it definitely has some of the best security in the game. But we're going to go and see the Agu turn the Marcus and Masaru swing. Gains if, one. Will he lose? Will he lose any memory in the process? No big hits. Oh, Iron Marco really early again. That's the one of the Beals X, the Wizard, and another Iron Marco. I feel like he has to take the Beals X here because he saw one go to the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, that's true. Like the one of obviously, you're like, well, it's the one of your dig, but we know he's on two blast mode, which probably implies that he's pretty l like two. Feels X. Yeah, I mean, you can see how long he's thinking about this. This is like a decision that oh. will lose him the game in three turns, or... Look, well, never mind, he's not taking the Beals X. He's just like, I will just loop to my deck all the way. What if I just killed him? What, I, what if I just killed him? I mean, it sets up pretty nicely, because he has guaranteed mill stuff so all he has to do is evolve once and like like the the balmon is going to go foolish god loves to see it looks like we broke uh 100 oh, oh. viewers Heck at the yeah. right in trade twitch and kazemon just hard dropping kazemon yeah you know I think this is just another casualty on the uh, the Kwang Min the uh, road to victory. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It's looking pretty rough. But the top we That's go the and the the mill. Oh, yeah, insult yeah, injury. It. Yeah, he stacked it when he took it off the Anmako just to turbo through as much of the deck as possible. Rune mode in the trash now. Uh, and he gets to play an Impmon out, so it kind of forces him like. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to take the five, and he's going to play the Searcher, which is really interesting, because the one-of is something I feel like I never see players willingly commit, because yeah. it does this, but it's just found his Blast Mode. Which is good. Bottom deck and three, but finds it. It also means that like he's cycling through the deck without mailing it, so he's more likely to get to his uh, ex-antibody Beelzemons. That is very, very true. I guess if it hits something on the way, cool. If not, you're rigging the deck for later, which, as mm -hmm. we've seen, is legitimately necessary because <laughs> you will find those cards again Beelzebun is very interesting as a purple deck because it's a purple deck that doesn't necessarily lose to other purple decks even though you know it does have some floating which is great but yellow hybrid sometimes it doesn't have the most amount of card draw so sometimes they just have to you know 
drop cards down just to do something. Yeah. It's a deck that t- tends to sort of like, once the pieces start rolling, you know, your TKs start popping off, you know, you see your Marcuses, then it does really well. All right, this is going to be the Egg Mill. The, the problem it has is, is like, it's a yellow deck and it's a red deck, and red decks notoriously have pretty poor search power. Like, they have some okay draw, but it requires you to be pretty aggressive. But oh. Aces is the level five. Uh, like shrink it by a lot. Like, and then it will die, which will then just... Sylphie! <laughs> Surely At that's least... floating, right? Uh, I it... don't believe he has a Beals in Trash. No, he does, he does, he does. I see the... Yeah, because he played yeah. the Impmon off of the thing, so he has to have one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he has the this one. Which is good for him, you know? He gets to... No cluster in the trash, so he can't really just... X Evo and then pop the ace and overflow three. Yeah, it's like nice in the fact that he, instead of going like neg one security, managed to go plus one. But you also just made Deathslinger cost uh, one. But yeah, I mean, we're just cycling back. I don't know what you, I legit don't know what you take here. Um, looks like he's going to take the level five. Since it's Mar- Marcus Hybrid slash Yellow Hybrid, are we expecting to see Shine top end or is no? Typically, the deck just it its top end is usually things like Venus or Quantum or sometimes Kentaro, sometimes Seraphi cards that tend to sort of push for damage. Okay. I think people misunderstand Yellow Hybrid for being sort of like a you know Sakon adjacent deck. Recovery. But the plus reality one. is, they're yeah, they just use the security to get rid of threats so they can much without pretty much anything in their way, go face. The deck, like, wants to go face, like, actively wants to go face. It's very Angel Feather-esque, in that, like, you're playing around with your security to bring back your stuff and then hit people whilst you're, like, mm-hmm. kind of manipulating it. Like, they're, they're using security as a second hand, in the same way that Beelzemon is, like, the perfect example of, like, Lamau, my trash is my second security, or my second yeah. hand, like, the yellow hybrid, at least the Marcus hybrid, definitely feels like that's their goal. Gonna spark one, and we're gonna hit another tamer, which at least is gonna bottom deck two kill spells. Which is good for yellow hybrid. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't the Apex. It's now just mission critical for Quang to be able to loop all the way around. And we're just gonna see Trident Gaia. No burn here, because he's not 13k or bigger. Yeah, the biggest Beelzebub is 12, right? Yes. But Marcus is now threatening lethal between Agu and two Marcuses. That is, you know, for all intents and purposes, that's just lethal on board. So we need to see a kill spell from Huang. Uh, not even, because the, there's the second one in the back. So even if you take it off board. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Because, yeah, two security. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah, you do need to get rid of it. Impmon for three. We saw the Wizard X, so this will probably be an Evo for zero. Oh, okay. Setting up blocker? Maybe setting up blocker? It might just be his only level 4. I could- oh, he took the Balmon, not the, uh... And we're gonna double tap Iron Marker. So, it looks like he's gonna be committing two cards to stack. He desperately needs a way to clear this Agumon to avoid lethal, or, you know, mail the blast mode. Yeah, that's one way to do it. it. And the rivals. I couldn't see, for a second I mistook it as a missed Memboost, even though there's no <laughs> way it could have been missed. And then just going to Biel's. He has the flow. He's going to get a memory here. Oh, yeah, Biel. he is. Uh, there we go. We looped around to the deck again. So we now have uh, Biel's X access. Yeah, and he'll have it next turn as well. So uh, Marcus Hybrid is going to have to find swing, swing, and then it's going to have to find. Blow up bills and then blow up the float. Yep. Otherwise, yeah, this is value. The problem is we haven't seen a rookie in the back yet. I would like to see a rookie in the back if we've got one, but... It doesn't look... Because we haven't drawn anything and this stack can't attack. So what is it gonna be? I was gonna say, like, Beals X would be great to double float here, but... Again, we just milled it, so there's no way to get rid of it unless we drop an Imp X for zero, but even then, just drawing would be better probably to set up a rookie in the back. Which is still 
Marcus's game to lose. He feels pretty set up. Open pass. Looks like it's just open pass. Wow. I like it because it's a mem setter anyway, so it's not like you're gonna drop a four cost Evo or any like uh, four cost anything. And you're gonna just have to take these two checks on the chin. Marcus is gonna go forward, DP minus the deals by three, and gain that memory. Rivals Barrage. Uh, can kill the Agu here because Marcus does not have a level. So it will take him out, just straight up. He'll yep. die as well before he gets the draw, which is very unfortunate. That's the other reason I don't hate the open pass, because like, the fact that he wasn't able to find certain cards in his like mill path after we've looped back around implies that. Right, what's in the security? I see Kazemon. I wish he did the security a little bit closer to the camera. Oh, you know what? We can maybe. Zephyr. Okay, looks like he's going to take the hybrid, taking the 6k hybrid just to, you know, potentially play against the rune mode since it is 6k. And then I believe that's. Uh. Kyrie Tamer, sorry, uh, Kamiya Tamer. Hi Kyrie, that card's really good. It like scales incredibly well in multiples. Yeah, and that's exactly what it's gonna do. Give himself potentially the two additional memory. One, you know, one for your security, one for the opponent's security. So at the very least, he's going to four memory, which is just two hybrids for game. Yeah, it's. And it's like guaranteed two memory, like guaranteed four as well. By putting, like, Kwang is not going to be healing. Ruin, Ruin mode wouldn't even do it because he would go to two security. Yeah, he'd go to two security. I mean, the Ruin mode would put the blanket down that would stop non Zephyr. Like, because Kaze's five, so she would die. So now, how do you approach this as Kwang? You're up a game, you have 25 minutes. And you have plenty of cards in the trash. Does he have the 30? Can he burn... Uh, uh, can he burn 3? 5, 10, 15... 20... 25... I think we're on 29. Rivals Barrage, we're like going to take back the Bills X. Nope, taking a rookie. I don't hate it. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to try and go for the 2 check... I mean, you. yeah, you got given 4. Trash Arrivals to take back the... The wizard mon X. Yeah, this wizard mon X. I think he's maybe trying to ladder up, considering that his deck is still loaded with a decent amount of good cards. He can proc the Beelzemon to then gain two additional memory. So his first Evo won't really cost anything. If anything, it might go might go get him uh, extra memory. The other thing is by going into the wizard X, the wizard X will mill two, which will then proc the Beelzemon. So even if he doesn't use yeah. Iron Marco to stack. Uh, it's essentially a free Evo. I'm assuming he's gonna try and set up lethal here. Like, obviously he's missing the... He's missing the extra value. We're gonna put a Beelzemon on the top, probably just to try and go wide wide. Two cast the top, mill two, and that is gonna be a new Rivals Barrage to replace the one that was pitched. And the Beelzemon is going to play an Impmon to the field, but we're going to gain the memory back from the Beelzemon first to gain three. Mm -hmm. So now this opens him up to going to a level five Evo without passing turn, so he can go level five potentially uh, into a level six and maybe going into uh, going into double Beel's X. Oh, he did but draw now, into it. So this yeah, is what Beel's is going to burn three. Two hybrids, uh, or oh, two tamers, get a swing for two checks. checks. Do or die. Final Ooh. shining burst, minus Does 12. He Does he have the Marcus? No Marcus, so... Ooh. No Marcus, and then we just gotta swing the last one. Okay, so if it dies on the last check, that, like... Wait, we're well, plus three though, right? Uh... Yeah, he dies anyway, which he gets a flow. Wait, no, what? Wait, wait, how big is Beelzex? Uh, Beelzex, I think it's like 12, I believe. Yeah, it's usually 12. So he gets a float into the imp here. But this is not great. Yeah, I mean, the last two security did, they did come through 
They did come through huge. It's not like he's playing BL stars, so like, you know, he can give his Impons rush. Yeah. I don't think he really has like a defensive line or some kind of win condition. Uh, you have to find Wizard and Wizard X again. That would do it. Wizard? Im? Okay. Have we even seen enough? Iron Marker uh, for three. Looks like we're missing it, but does he have double hybrid? That is the question. Last three there cards. There it was. Yeah. That's and now the Kamiya Tamers are going to give him plus two memory, so he's going to go to five here. Doesn't even bother hatching. I think we... Uh, mm, well! Yeah. Zephyr... Yeah, this Swing, is, doesn't just, really matter. Just and then second hybrid for game, yep. Yep. All right. Decent game here the from Marcus. Security is the name of the game. If the BLs had burned the final Shining Burst, it would have been a completely different game. I mean, the game would have been over. Yeah, it's one of those, like, it makes the most sense to go... Feels X first, like how's he to know exactly what he's gonna hit is gonna take it? Like the final shining burst could have been the second check and he could have gone for that first and it wouldn't have mattered. It really just came down to <laughs> it really just came down to exactly these five security will be in whichever order I decide, and I gotta hope it comes out on top. Good stuff though from Marcus setting up the like the board that cannot be interacted with and getting his chip damage in where he needed it to. Yeah, if Wizard X was the next card, it would have been a completely different game. I think it would have been just a completely overset. God, I'll love to see it. Now, Quang actually gets to choose if he wants to go first or second. Yeah, it's one of the ad advantages to winning game one. That you don't have to, like, you get to go into the final game on, like, your, your pick. Interesting, 50 minutes really hasn't felt, like, too long. It's basically the same as 45 plus 5. But it never feels like, like, every time I'm watching these pile shuffles, I'm not like, ah, we're not really hurting for time. Just kind of surprising. <laughs> Shout out to everyone in the chat as we are in top eight now. So we have three more games. We have this is the last of the best of three, and then we have top four and finals. We'll see if Quang is able to make a comeback here. And because we're no longer in Swiss, there has to be a clear winner. So there's a couple of end game procedures between. Uh, I believe first is who has the most security, then I believe it's who has the, mo the most cards left in deck. The security one I think is going to decide the game, because, I mean... These are both very aggressive decks. Very aggressive decks. One of them kind of heals more easily than the other, right on cue. Uh, but yeah, one of, the, one of them is like... It, it's kind of... I hope they do get five minute warnings. If it is just like 50 minutes is over, okay, game's done. I hope they get five minute warning so that way, if Quang's just sitting there going for an OTK, he can at least go, okay, I need to push the gas. Yeah, Ayamako does get us the rookie here, at the very least. A rookie and two other cards that are way more useful, but I guess... Looks like we had the rookie anyway. Yeah. Maybe just getting a search first to see if you could find, like, the greedier piece, but... It's really interesting that he is really just not... He does not care about putting uh, BT3 at Mon. Like, he will just build that in the back and then evolve over it like it didn't matter. Now, this, uh, this Magna Angemon, it's not a huge detriment, but it's also not doing us any favor. Healing one is great. You better hope it's a card he didn't need. I think we're just correcting games. So I think he was a training and he didn't actually... 
grab the card, but now <laughs> one of Geo Greymon from BT13 Sheesh! currently at one. Will it pick up any tamers? Marcus pondering his orb. All right, here comes the Marcus. Making this the one cost Evo, not too bad. And a blind recovery. Red and yellow are such like interesting colors working together because generally it's like what I can delete, I'm gonna DP minus and I can put things into the ranges where my deletion goes off. One draw here off the EX1, sorry, the EX4 Argu. A very, very good card. Not only does it get you a memory, but also builds up a ton of your resources. And we're gonna see an early Venus. Yeah. Uh, I mean it made I it back to him. I don't super hate this. I can very easily build in the back. Are we getting ready yeah, to run it through? Yeah, relatively build in the back. Or if he, you know, comes across, say for example, a rival's barrage, he can kill the uh, Venus. Drain out. Finds the rivals, but I mean, not gonna be able to take it. Two kill spells gone. I don't see any in hand either. Hmm. Chooses the imp mod. Now, when the Marcus goes sideways, it the oh sorry, this is not the BT thirteen Agu. The BT thirteen Agu would let him kill the Impmon. Yeah, this is the when one of your red and yellow tamers becomes suspended. Draw one. I'm gonna see Venus come down, uh, swing. Marcus has enough memory to Evo into a level five and then go for another Venus to stop Quang from resolving his one Digivolve as if he chooses to. But that's assuming that that's the rest of his hand instead. Let's see the Marcus. And choke at one here. Yeah, choke at one if uh, huh. if the cards will it. Ooh, oh, a that. rival's brush at the end of your turn actually kind of works out pretty well. Venus mm -hmm. is now out of uh, out of doing its thing, so we will be as able to resolve by digivolving. Yeah, as long as he doesn't give himself security attack plus one from the starter deck, uh, Bielzamon. As long as he goes into the EX two, he should be okay. Yeah. Impex. Pitch one, get back one if he wants to. I don't even I don't even remember seeing option cards. So he must have I mean he must have drawn into one. Takes back seventh. Gets wizard from trash. The thing is, if he gets big enough here, then he could maybe try and go EX2. He could try and go into EX2 Beelzemon. Mm -hmm. Get enough to swing pop the Geogre and then swing over the Venus. Or just to use Cluster to pop the Venus. Yeah. Oh, Impmon uh, mill three. My protagonist. Get it twisted. And Beelzex now in the trash. So that is 10. So we can pop level fours now with uh, EX2 Beels. Has he. Resolved cards from hand. It feels like everything just came from trash. That was double rivals yeah, crack. Just free real estate. Double rivals and uh, training. We're finally going to pay for Digimon now. Well, you know. Well. How much? Are, how much? <laughs> it's tax evasion season. <laughs> Add back, mill some more. Keep it going. Uh. Amazing sequencing here. Uh, every so often I'm reminded he just wants it so much more than everyone else at this venue. <laughs> For a second I'm just like, what honest Digimon are we about to play? I don't think Quang has ever claimed to play honest Digimon, you know? No. So, two memory. As long as he doesn't give- he can resolve the Star Deck Bias one because you gain a security after the, uh, after you've resolved your one Digivolving. One memory, uh, only mills a two, but is enough to kill the Geo Gray. Yes. 
Still gonna go to three, so still an expensive Evo, but you cleared the body and there's nothing in raising, so the Marcuses will not be turning into Digimon at the very least. Phoenix gonna yeah. swing in. I think it's expecting to not make it back to him. But at least he has the float, which is the most important part here. Yeah. Being able to float and have the Ayamaku to potentially gain memory is pretty solid. He's contemplating shooting the Beelzemon, but it's not bigger than 13 KDP, so he won't burn his security. Yeah, it's a weird one. Like, if he drops it... If he drops it, then we get, like, super serious value. Okay, can I evolve for two? Just try and accelerate the game clock a little bit. I like it. You only Magical need one girl. of those Marcuses anyway to give you the memory. Yeah. Magical girl Marcus. <laughs> v Shoujo. Moon type. Yep. See, seeing a one-off one card resolved once, more than once in a turn, Whoa. it's just... Uh, it's a lot, and he's gonna float. We, we <laughs> certainly have more than 10. This is still ultimately fine. Floating into the EX2 Bills is completely fine here. He can't really go for game unless we see sort of like, you know, an Impmon being dropped down and then Evering on that Impmon and then going into the double Bills X lines. He has seven memory. Technically, he has eight memory with the Iron Mako, so who knows? Yeah, he's definitely hella stacked. Surprised that Venus just managed to chew through so much security. Yeah, he's like Marcus has done a fantastic job of like keeping the clock fast. He's recognizing that his turns are very limited when you are staring down the protagonist. So you got to make every turn count. And he's done a fantastic job of making sure every turn has counted. It's just what is he? See, I don't know whether you swing, try and get rid of the Venus. Ah, uh, okay, I don't hate that. Evolve for five, minus it. into the rune mode. Swing, apply, be minus ten. It should live, it does. Delete the Venus. Yep. End of attack, apply minus ten. This is the first. Oh, rather, on deletion, apply minus ten, and then end of attack, heal one. And then overflow. Yeah, this I is definitely a different way to play out the turn. He just yeah. can't get himself Venus again. But to be fair, as long as he just passes three, it doesn't matter if he passes three. He's the the blankets minus ten. No, I'm saying, say for example, if he passes more than three, uh, Marcus would be able to, you know, slam an ace for four and then Venus for four again. No, it, it can't because the board's under minus ten. Oh yes, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right, you're right. Yeah, so like, th th this is the first Ruin mode we've seen actually resolve actually, its end of attack. Yeah. I think for the whole tournament. Yeah, legitimately, every single one has been doing minus five and getting shot to get the minus ten down. Checking. You haven't seen the cute line where you can use the promo wizard mod to put a card on top of your security and then use the Ruin mode to heal that card so you can heal security bombs? That's but messed we haven't up. Seen that line of, yeah, we haven't seen that line of play yet. So, looks like he's just, you know... Developing his game plan. He did count how many cards he had left in deck before doing this, so I don't think we're going to see... Oh, actually, maybe he does try and go for a ball. If he goes ball for... is life. Yeah, ball is life. He just needs to heal not a slinger. He just needs to heal not a slinger. I say heal. He needs to put something... Oh, okay, he is going to just raw, raw mill. I don't hate that. If you're not sure uh, that, because you can't, it's, there's no point choking to one. It, the yeah. only thing you'd be doing is guaranteeing. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I Game think he's one. just guaranteeing that his deck doesn't thin out too much. Also, going wide isn't bad. Second, ha yeah, he's so talented. He's Man, actually he maybe it. too talented. <laughs> was Beals on board under sec minus one Venus from? Or was it pl uh, the effect was gone already? Yeah, that, yeah it was long Venus. gone. Yeah, it was long gone. The Venus stuck around for like three turns. Ah. Uh, are we searching with the one of? Are we sure about that one, Chief? Is 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 a, plan. is a starter deck Vmon like or Impmon not the play? I think he has a plan. I think he's trying to dig for a specific piece. One, two, three, 
for six cards left in deck, takes the Beelzemon. I think it's also just to, you know, kind of get to the rest of his good cards and potentially setting up yeah, there we go. Um, double Beelzemon plays. He, he Final Shining Blast clears both the Impmons. Imp Mons, but doesn't clear the Balmon. And Unless he plays the, the, the five cost markers. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh. Sunrise. Sunrise Buster. And it's going to play out. I don't know that I like yet. that. <laughs> I don't know that I like that at all. He doesn't have a ton of options. I think if he goes into starter deck, he could just go beat down. Like if he's got two of them in trash. Then you go. <laughs> you just you're just like you float and then. I mean, bro, this is four imp months. You are betting on final shining, like you are betting on shining blast being in security. Which when you pick the ex two over the starter deck one. I think it's because it mills memory. the fewest, and that also because he he only needs one of them to resolve. Oh, I guess if he's trying to resolve the Iron Marcos plus the Sardak Impmon, you'll want the one in the trash to be the one that you Revo into to mill the rest of your deck. Alright, we're actually bringing the, uh, the stack into something readable. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty cards in trash. Five. That is thirty cards. 30. 30 31. on the dot. I think it's 31. Yeah, 31. Looks about right. <laughs> is, is he fiending for double ball X? <laughs> double oh, double bills of on the X. He's like, burn six. Die. <laughs> That's probably his best line of play. Considering that one of the months can turn into a, an X. So here, just going to burn three. Is yeah, burn three, seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two tamers. However, however, however. Uh, okay, we're gonna needs, use we're gonna use the iron markers here. He needs to basically make it so that he doesn't get cooked by options that go wide. I don't think it matters if it's something that goes wide, he won't die. If it's something that goes small, it's fine because he's gonna mill for the iron marco. It's not even fussed about it. It's gonna gain back three. You can choose to okay. Oh, there's final yeah, shining. The, um even if he plays the Marcus, he only steals one memory, so it's not enough. Yep. And so even can kill one. It does yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. We, we, doesn't it looks matter. like we're just gonna scoop it up and the protagonist continues. Marcus really pushed him to the brink, but that's exactly where our hero thrives. Yellow, yellow hybrid. You know the cards of the kinds of cards that they play. They all just really play into the bow, like the bow on deletion. Yeah, Balmon hates blue decks and green decks and like anything that can bottom deck it. You know, ignore it, get rid of it through other ways through except deletion. But yellow and red, those are both cards that are going to proc its on deletion no matter what. So it takes away a lot of the value from Marcus's like uh, tech choices. But top A with yellow hybrid, I would love to see what he played against because, you know, th that kind of deck, you basically pick and choose the options based on what you think you're going to play against. I like, do. Trident, oh, your Trident, Levia matchup um, must be awful. Yeah, no, because you have a ton of removal options from uh, Final Shining Burst, Trident Gaia, you can always kill the crocodiles. Um, you they only kill one tamer and you play more tamers than they have like levia x loops yeah it's not, that's like, fair. It, it's not like you're playing a ton of like digimon a lot of your early plays are just like playing tamer so dragomon tends to be a little bit slower yeah that's fair <laughs> i like the it, idea it, of hitting something in security and then it's like ah oh, i get to warp into <laughs> into Levia X and then two more tamers <laughs> just show up. It's like, uh -oh. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the idea. Unfortunate for Marcus, his security was like pretty much just like all Digimon. Yeah, like we I mean we went to game three because of seeing the final shining burst, but I mean yeah, good stuff. Both what a crazy run.
And if the, if he's cooking with like BT fifteen Bielzamon, wait until this man gets EX six Bielzamon and he gets D Digivolve and Keyword Rush. Just evil stuff. Maybe then we'll actually see the X antibody. Maybe he will be like, you know what? Maybe I should burn on the swing that I got to play. I got to do for free. Yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, great work though. Still, gotta give Marcus his flowers. Getting top eight on Marcus Hybrid it was uh, Quang Min continuing the Bielzamon run into top four now uh, of the Karlsruhe regional. And just two minutes left on the clock. I'm gonna go double check and see if we got any other results. Uh, Gil is still in the bracket, and uh, Mark Bruce is gonna be sending Marvin home at uh, fifth place, top eight. So, I mean, very real chance that we get to actually see a new player, unless they. Yeah, because it should be tables one and four play each other, then two and three. So we might be, we. Sh if they show table one, we'll be seeing uh, Quang versus Mark Once again. Bruce. And if they show table two, then we'll be seeing uh, Gilmarta Bernardo facing off against the winner of Mil Miguel Barbosa and Dario David. So. So Gil went home. Uh, no, Gil's. Uh, He's going to be playing the winner of Table 3.